This is the part in the tutorial where you're going to take your recorded track that you just laid into Audacity and you're going to add your piano playing with it. We're actually going to separate these things later so that it's in the left and the right ear. That's how I do mine anyway. I think it works really well. Uh, if you want to use your internal microphone, you can, but I want to use this blue snowball mic, which you can't see on here because it's not plugged in yet. The thing about Audacity is it won't find it. So when I plug in my blue snowball, it won't show up. I have to go to transport, rescan audio devices to make that blue snowball show up. Now it's looked around the computer for it again. Next thing I'm gonna do is plug in some headphones because I wanna play this track at the speed that it's going, but I won't want the kids to hear that, it, that, the, uh, that the track is in both ears because I'm actually gonna separate them so that they hear that choir in the right ear and they hear my piano playing in the left. That way they can isolate what they want to hear. So I'm going to record this a little bit. I can hear it in my ear. Obviously you can't hear it. I'm just going to play the first couple measures. And so I just recorded that. <clears throat> if you look here, you'll see the piano track of what I just recorded. And I will amplify that like I did the other one because I actually want that to be louder than what this track is. And I'll show you about that later when we get to editing. But right now I've got me playing the piano and that other track. 